What the hell? Where's the compass, Ravis? I owe you nothing! I did let you walk away if once. You want that knowledge from me? You're gonna have to fight for it. So be it. Hello everyone, it's your boy Cat, and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This is episode 12. In the last episode, we did some more exploration and rumors on Kobo. Um, full disclosure, I actually haven't played the game in like more than a week. I've just been kind of busy and tired and like just didn't have much time to record. So uh, so I'm actually like a little hazy on what we were doing last. Like I remember I was exploring Kobo and like I think we stopped off at the lunar station again, right? Right, we were following... Ravis there. I remember that much. So I'm sorry I may be a little rusty at the game, but I'm really excited to get back into it, so without further ado, let's jump right back in. I remember stopping on the moon station and then like the the other people locate Ravis, right? Uh, right, 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 right. Uh, I'm supposed to open the big gate. Where's my mustache at? There we go. <laughs> um, should I change my jacket? Tactical commander. Oh shit. All of his boots and shoes look kind of like shit, to be honest. <laughs> Let's go with a little tactical vest. Give him like that kind of general look. And I'm just trying new stuff, just, just for variety, you know? Um, my nice science saber. Um, oh, I could change his hair too. Oh my god, that, that doesn't even look like Cal. Especially with the mustache. I just I can't see it. Like, it, it looks fine. It's just so weird. Like, the, the long hair does look good on him. It's just so different. Like, I can't... You know what? Let's try it. Let's just... I'm gonna do it and maybe it's gonna grow on me. Like hair. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, let's just try it, I guess. Uh, just for variety. Looks like I'm playing a different character. <laughs> Anyways, I was gonna say, um... I know last episode was all exploration, and uh, I'm a little torn on the exploration in the game because, like, I really love this game and I want to explore every little corner of it, but I know that for Let's Play it's not necessarily the most interesting stuff to watch. This also isn't even my own console, so, like, all this stuff I'm gonna have to redo whenever I get a PS5 of my own. On the one end, I kinda wanna just rush through the story, just be done with it, but if I did that, I would have missed funny stuff like, uh, rake the fucking door technicians <laughs> like I don't want to miss that kind of stuff um, I guess we'll just keep going and see how we feel it I don't know but um, okay so I'm headed there so we're following Ravis I'm wondering if we're gonna have like our first boss battle against him I say first because I assume we're gonna be fighting both Ravis and Dagon multiple times I just hope I don't get my ass in it to me in combat, because like I haven't played in a while, so I'm gonna be even rustier than usual. Oh, there we go. I already secured that. Don't open it. Scrap it. Help. Help it away. You guys were waiting for me. You'll pay. BD, get this guy. BD, you were supposed to hack him. I guess I have to fix this again. Not a threat. Not if I mind control you. Oh, you're still attacking? Okay, I guess it doesn't work if there's no other enemies. I'm trying to remember, like. Okay, yes, I do have the saber throw. I have, like, the. This stuff can break the card. Not bad. Sorry. Centauri hit the compass in the tower. Shameful display! Find out. 
I'm gonna get better, I swear. I keep seeing this every episode, but I will get better at the combat. It's just... Every time I'm playing, it's been like a few days since the last time, so like... I'm always rusty. I heard the boss wants to go through the abyss. That's impossible. The abyss destroys Wait, Do you hear that? Oh, no. What the hell? Was this supposed to happen as part of their dialogue? Because I, I thought maybe I interrupted their dialogue. But... What the hell is this? Are they trying to shoot like some kind of beam into the abyss? Doesn't seem very safe. I guess we don't have a choice. activated the next. Dagon was right about Centauri. About what exactly? What are you talking about? fabrication facility on the moon. It would save us bringing materials from elsewhere. One-stop shop. As the needs of the moon station became clear, it was decided to house a fabrication factory on the moon itself to better facilitate any required maintenance. Why is this thing even, like, here? Oh, weird. Yep. Pam pam pam. Oh shit. How do you? There we go. I almost forgot about that. Uh... Am I really supposed to pass through here? That doesn't seem right. Oh, that was a door. <laughs> Did not even see the door. kind of whooping my ass, to be honest. Oh, there's the Mentis. Ugh. Yeah, I'm sure they can take care of themselves. We've seen worse. Get a very nice view here. I'm not sure how exactly this place has an atmosphere. It feels like a place where we should have a mask on, but we can get another shortcut right there. Since when did Ramus take orders from anybody? He owes his master everything. Yeah, why? Oh, so it's a respect thing. Whatever Dagon Droid saying that. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Fight with me. I love how they don't have any question. They see one of their own turn against them and they're like, just kick his ass. Oh, damn, you got whooped. They whooped my boy like Jesus. Uh, yeah. Look at all of them waiting for me. Because <laughs> they're all melee characters. We'll fight together. Just please. This is so funny. Get up here. I can't believe you can have people fight against each other. We're after you. I got him. Did you though? 
Well, here's come a bunch more of them. Yeah, best food beam. They're so stupid. Not a threat. Get in there. Push him in the beam. Ooh, this is cannon. <laughs> Uh. Stim BD. Good save. Have I mentioned how much I love this game? Uh oh. Whoops. Sorry, Cal. That's on me. I was like, why am I even coming here? <laughs> oh, the duelist material. Okay, that could be nice. You were just gonna sit there and not even help your friends? How shameful. Yeah, the only issues with this game so far is like the technical aspect. There's been like a few little bugs. That hasn't been too bad, but... Ah, fucking Jesus! Can you...? Wow, they really just... stunlocked me right in the wall. I couldn't do anything there. Um. What, respawn me all the way here? Oh, Jesus. I see you in a moment after I'm done with these guys. Let's fight together. Use the fucking shortcut. I didn't think the shortcut was still there. Oh well. What is your purpose exactly? Whatever you gotta tell yourself, man. And Dagon, it's kind of a like you defeated me, so now I respect you kind of thing. And like he spared his life, so now he has like a debt. But Ravis did mention that like his debt was gonna be repaid once they were done with this thing, so I really think he's gonna turn on him. That's one dead droid. I forgot I had this move. them in there. Wow, 
Ah, uh, they got straight up disintegrated. I am so sorry. Can I get a stim BD? Alright, I'm not gonna get caught in the corner this time. Ooh, much better this time, okay. See, I told you I was gonna do better. How long have you laid your head? Soon you will sing again. Who are you talking to? For centuries, the moon station lay dormant and damaged. Ravis and Dagen, however, are determined to breathe life into the facility once more. I bet you are. Hey, Cal. You there? Yes. I'm here. You all okay? Uh, we're managing. <laughs> No rush, but uh, hurry up and let us know when you're on your way back. Will do. I don't like the sound of that. Let's hold on. Statement, I think. I can actually. I guess droids don't get to know the plan either. <laughs> Ionizing calibrators. Although shredded in some mystery, it is believed the array displaces Kobo matter by ionizing energy fired through it. Stations throughout the beam chamber monitor the process. Interesting. So it's something to do with Kobo matter. Say, don't you? Lot to unpack here. Um, he is actually quite an interesting character, even though like I really haven't seen that much from him. But first of all, I think it's interesting that we finally have have a villain that's not a Sith Lord. Like, he's not even a force user, he's just like, an alien. 
Uh, just an alien with like a mechanical body. Uh, so I'll read that's kind of refreshing. Second, it's interesting to have a villain that's not a Sith because like his ideology is not the same. Like even though he's a villain, he does seem to put a lot of emphasis on like honor, hence his debt to Dagon. Like he was defeated, but because he was spared, he still owes a debt. So he has like his own code of honor, which is always kind of interesting in a antagonist. And uh, you know what he's saying about the Jedi? He's not wrong. The Jedi were like soldiers during the war when really it should have never been their purpose. Like that's not really what they were supposed to be about, but they were kind of swallowed into this conflict against their will. But like they had to take part in it because they had to, but I don't know. Everything he's saying is interesting. He says like you're killing people for it. And it's true, all these raiders and troopers, we do kill them. Cal is a killer, there's no getting around that, like even though he's the, pro he's the protagonist, and I've talked about this before in this playthrough and even in other, in other games, the protagonist is often a killer, even a mass killer, so, and you could say like, well, they're bad guys and they deserve it, but it's like, it always depends on your perspective, you know, from their point of view, where, where are the antagonists? Where do I go from there? Ah, oh, come on, I had that. Wait, I think. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, I have to go in the middle. Also, I still think it's really funny that this guy is voiced by Kamushida. <laughs> it's very funny. Perfect bad guy voice. Oh, this is getting treacherous. Buddy, stem. All right, made it. Only way up is ahead, and into another firing chamber. He is right, yeah. though. One was enough. How far is Kala waiting to go for Tanelor? We're not done yet. What's with this scary music? Second. The hour approaches for you to make Dagon's vision real once more. Once more? Ravis prowls every hidden nook of the array, assessing its remaining viability and latent potential. I still don't really know what the array is. Or maybe I just forgot. I have terrible memory for these kind of details. Does the array like open up the path through the abyss? Or no, he had a compass. The compass with, was gonna take him through the abyss, right? And then he sent Ravis to the lunar station for... I kind of forgot. Ooh. This is very, uh, this is timed very close. How did Ravis get through all this? I guess he must have used a different path. What if there's nothing at the end of this? Like, could you imagine you get here and there's like just nothing? Skill point. So... Where to from here? Oh, there was a door there? I totally missed that. Wait, I should wait, actually. 
A good thing Marin gave me that charm, otherwise I just would not have been able to progress. Oh yeah, there was a little thing. That stuff up there, that smells like a boss fight. Nothing better happen to Grease and Bode and Marin. Doubt she ever thought it would come to this. She made her choices. If it helps us find a home that's free of the Empire, so be it. Oh yeah, that's 100% a boss fight. Huh. This is different. Nice job, BD. Laboratory thermal regulator. To control tests effectively, the inner labora laboratory's temperature is strictly regulated by a master control unit. And the laboratory's... Don't make me say that word many times. Laboratory. Laboratory. Atrium. Okay, I also have three skill points, so let's do that. Oh, so I can do that even... Oh, okay. That would be nice. So you can do this with the two saber or with the one saber. Let's get the airborne version while we're at it. Okay, I really have to assume we're about to walk into a boss fight. Let's see. Jedi, you are nearly too late. I await you in the control tower. Reach me if you can. Okay, I will. What's that? Um, yeah, these things, we've seen those a bunch of times, but they're always red, so I guess we need some kind of new abilities that we're going to unlock here. Should have remembered your training, bitch. We're locked out. Good work, BD. Okay, that's the main path. Oh, we need a ball in there. Yes, yes. Oh, you're a big boy. Whoa! How 
can you not stagger from lightsaber hits? <laughs> I know it's a game, but goddamn. so far has been successful. Dagon Gera has belief. Then he senses something I do not. The plan. Two Jedi of the High Republic find a quiet spot away from prying eyes to discuss their purpose on the Shattered Moon. Also, if you remember, I asked in a previous episode, like, were the Jedi from the High Republic, like, stronger, more powerful, wiser than the ones from, uh, from the ones, like, in the main Star Wars uh, canon. That's what Ravis seemed to say. Now, does that mean it's true? I don't know, but... It's interesting to think about. We have a containment breach! Get down! Disaster? Catastrophe struck Kobo's moon. The laboratory was not spared. Personnel with the lab, uh, within the lab could only take cover in hope as their carefully curated experiments shattered around them. Okay. So I just have the vines left, but I don't have a beam to destroy them with. Like the ball is there, but... Oh, it's there. But how can I get up there? Like, I need some way to... Wait, can BD reach from here? Wait, no, uh... Get a one. Did that do anything? Can I jump on that? No. Ugh. Wait, I can go down there. I'm in bad shape, buddy. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to. Can I break this glass? Wait, what? Okay, I need to break the. Can I really not break this glass? Okay, but I can't pull it through the window. Interesting. Oh wait, no. I think I get it. If I throw it on the thing, then it's gonna fall through the... But wait. But no, it hits the... Because it always hits this thing. Like, throw it there and then go on the other side. No, by the time I'm here, it's too late. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Am I just stupid? I keep asking that in so many videos that I'm just gonna have to start believing that I am. Oh wait, I get it. And then from this side... And then... Grab it! Ooh... Okay, it wasn't that complicated. I, I think I was overthinking it, really. All that tech on Kobo. Was it made here? A gadget we found in the stone spires. Think you can help here? You've got this one, right? Yes, yes. I do. Okay, but there's more. There's like stuff up there too. Um. Does it reach all the way up there? 
Yes, it does. All right, what do we have here? Nothing. Ah, there's our upgrade. Gotta unlock this. That's how it's done. Slice droid deck. Oh wow, can slice Destro droids. Nice. What have we got down here? Let's see what Cree was up to. Hmm. Inoperable console. Rendered inoperable by time or sabotage, the proximity of these consoles to the innermost laboratory. Laboratory? Laboratory. Nevertheless, guarantees that whatever information they held was likely of the most sensitive nature. This looks like a trap. Centauri. Is Centauri her first Daddy, or last name? Done? I'm still not sure. What I must stop. But you want what I want. Why else would you deceive the Council? You've lost your way. Surrender. And She's gonna cut his arm. Together. Come with me. It's too late for that. They definitely have some history. Such despair, Santari. Tanalor. You can feel it slipping away. My despair is for you. Tanalor has changed you. It's changed you as well. Step aside. No. Then I must go it alone. Centaur. I knew it. <laughs> I knew she was the one. Hmm. What'd you find? Interesting. What is it about Tanelore? Like, works with my grapple. Could help us climb the tower. Ah, there we go. I knew that's what it was gonna be. Allegiance. Wait, that's not what I want to see. She defeated Dagon, but didn't turn him in. Why? I mean, defeated, that's a big word. She kind of just <laughs> sliced his arm out of nowhere. Wasn't much of a fight. Allegiance. In a Force Vision, Cal witnesses Centauri Kree attempt to pull Dagon back from a dark path. After Dagon violently lunges for the compass, I mean, it wasn't that violent, but... Kree severs his arm and calls the droid to prepare a Bacta tank. So the Bacta tank that we found him in? Do these things just last forever? Because it's been like 200 years, so don't they need like any maintenance? <laughs> you just put someone in there and you forget them, it's like, oh, okay, then he's fine. Would you need a Bacta tank just because you've lost your arm? Like, Anakin lost his arm. Like, when Luke lost his arm, they didn't put him in any Bacta tank, they just kind of... I don't know, they didn't do nothing. Interesting. But I knew she was going to be the one to cut his arm. It made sense. I mean, he didn't draw his lightsaber on her. He was, he just kind of pushed her aside. Let's give it a try. Oh, okay. Huh. Huh. It works. On to Ravis. Yeah. For a short time. I do love how most of the upgrades you get are like movement based. 
They give you like better movement because it, it allows them to make more interesting platforming sections. Which is nice. So is that like a shortcut then? Oh, you want to scan this thing? A stabilizer beam. A series of modules ring the lab laboratory. <laughs> Feeding energy down into the arrays, initializing. Why are you giving me all these words, man? Maintaining a constant flow of energy is seemingly vital to ensuring the entire array remains stable. Okay. This one's too far. Okay, yeah. That, that seems about right. Instant death. I guess I should have figured. So... Go through there. I can climb that. Okay, I think that's what I had missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wall run plus this thing. Look at me go! have an alarm next to it. All for a gun part. Oh. This one was like ringing like meh, meh. And then this just takes us back to the beginning. Okay. Uh, let's rest. Now we're headed to Dagan, so let me change my clothes. This could be nice if you had like a shirt underneath the the arm kind of looks weird but you can't have a shirt underneath it so I really do wish we're gonna find some better Jedi robes but I have a feeling we won't. So far this is kind of like my definitive Cal look as you can tell because it's the one I've been mostly using. What's even the purpose of like these little floating things other than for me to grapple onto them? Do they have a purpose? Alright, we're about to fight Dagon, I just know it. Yep, there he is. From their scripted fight that happened in a cutscene a few episodes ago. He seemed very strong, but we'll see. Ravis. Jedi. <laughs> Jedi. Why did you activate the array? It's been many years since I last life Jedi. Why did you activate the I array? I heard you. Well, then answer me. Long ago, Dagon bested me in combat. Earned my loyalty. Mm. We fought side by side until the Jedi betrayed him. Took many of your order to defeat me. Yet. So they did defeat you, but they didn't kill you. They dishonored me. Because they didn't kill you. Denied me a warrior's death. That's surprising, because they never that really shied away from killing bad guys. Centuries. Oh, they captured you instead. So, How did you escape? Seems our destinies are intertwined. The demise of your order oh. allowed me to escape. And yet... Nothing has changed. You're still just Dagon's servant. Time does not diminish my loyalties. Without a code, you can only serve yourself. I don't disagree. 
Where's the compass, Ravis? I owe you nothing, Jedi! I did let you walk away if once. You want that knowledge from me? You're gonna have to fight for it. So be it. Very well. If I defeat you, are you? Oh, what an interesting weapon you have. What the hell? How did you take damage? And you have a gun and a mace. What an interesting weapon. <laughs> He fights God kind of like uh, Gogo in Kill Bill because he kicks the little thing. Slick. I thought I could reflect them at him, but it doesn't seem like Hit it. Me. You're quite intimidating, I will say. I think I need like the mass push in order to reflect them all. So by your logic, if I defeat you, you have to serve me, right? What I don't get is why do you hate the Jedi for not killing you, but then you serve Dagon for the same thing. You're not so tough. The burn of a saber. You missed that feeling, did you? I will help you. Quick, help! You better have a second phase. <laughs> he just doesn't care. You have to destroy the head. Or yep. I've been waiting for this. Oh. For two hundred years. <laughs> I won't disappoint you then. You do have a face too. All right, let's go. Is that a grab? Yeah, which that's a lot of damage. You just run straight at me. You could already be free if you wanted. Such a frail, ephemeral thing. Like, I kind of want to see it, but I don't want to let them grab me. I just did not. I yield. Mm. Yeah. You have proven yourself. I don't know if I believe you. Where is the compass? Centauri Kree's observatory. As Dagon suspected. I have opened the way. He goes there now. I'll I turn you back him. on him. 
Fight with me. We can take on Dagon together. <laughs> I will not, Jedi. After all these centuries, I still dream of Tantalor. What is everyone's obsession with that place? I had hoped to see it again, but... Oh, that is not to be. This Dagengara stands in your way. You don't have to do this. Only one of you will reach Tantalor. Jedi, give me my warrior's death. Damn, no hesitation. Damn, Cal. We should go. I don't think that's enough, though. Oh, okay, his body's just gone. <laughs> that's weird. Revis tells Cal how he came to be captured and imprisoned by the Jedi hundreds of years ago. The memory is a bitter one as the Gendai Code dictates honor from battle and an oath of service if defeated. Although Cal attempts to convince Revis to join his cause, Revis is tired of servitude. Can't really blame him. He demands a warrior's death and receives it. Does he though? Because uh, the thing I read about the Gendai is that like they can't really die unless you destroy the head. High Republic Moon Labor Lab Laboratory. <laughs> In the deepest section of the facility on Kobo's moon was an experimental laboratory. Within samples of Kobo matter were manipulated and experimented upon in an effort to discover what the unique material was capable of. At the heart of the facility was Centauri Kree's personal laboratory. Um, I guess he's dead? Rave is defeated. In a destructive bout, he finally defeated the Gendai. I mean, finally. That was our first encounter. I really thought he was going to come back later. Humboldt, Ravis revealed that Dagon sent him to open the path to an observatory high in Kobo's mountain. Really feels like the whole game's gonna take place pretty much on Kobo, it seems. Okay, well, I guess he's dead then. Ravis. He does not fear lightsaber strikes. A long lived Gendai. He has watched civilizations rise and fall as the centuries passed. But his loyalty to Dagangera has not once wavered in all the years he has served him. Well, that's respectable. He's very loyal. A brutal and skilled fighter, Rivas attacks with an array of weaponry. That's cool, he was mixing all these weapons, like shooting your, his gun and then like switching back to his mace. That was a cool fight. It was a little easy, honestly, because I defeated him on the first try, but... Centered. Well, back to the Mantis we go, I suppose. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back later. Cal, I don't know what you did, but those vulture droids are making a hasty exit. The landing pad's clear. I'm gonna bring the man in now. Copy that. I'll be waiting for you, kid. They always do this stuff where, like, yeah, you can tell he kind of feels bad about like having to kill him a little bit, but it's like we kill so many troopers and like. Right. Raiders. Dagon abandoned the Jedi code. Now look at him. Consumed by his obsession with Tantalor. How is that different from what we're doing? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Thanks for having my back. I can definitely tell uh, that Cameron is doing like an effort to sound a little more gruff in this one. Like he had, he has listed that young voice from the first one. He has like more of a more of this voice, you know? Not by much, but just a little bit. I'm in bad shape, buddy. So you fear that you're becoming just like Dagon. I need huh? to clear my mind. But I mean so far we haven't really killed anyone like innocent. So you really can't you can't compare yourself that much. A 
everyone okay in there? Running from a blaster, better run a little faster. Goodbye, Loon Saloon. The location, Shattered Moon. <laughs> hey, look at that, he ain't dead. How you doing, kid? How? Whatever you did up there should kick the firebug nest. Ravis is gone. Yeah, that'll do it. So let me guess, back to Kobo? Yeah, I think so. Say, uh, jetpack, give me a hand up here. Yep. You guys still haven't had that talk. And you're still not going to? She looked at him like she wanted to say something and then she didn't. God damn it. Not now. I need some time to think. Okay, well I guess so do I. Would have liked to see you scrapping ships on Braca in your younger days. <laughs> Can't imagine what it must have been like to be here when the moon was destroyed. What a waste. You ever notice that it's never amusement park moon or all you can eat buffet moon? No, it's creepy cursed shadow moon. Make yourself some tea. That always helps you relax. No amount of tea in the galaxy is gonna make me spend one more minute on this moon. Well, I could go for some. You hate tea. You're just trying to get my mind off the moon. Well, it won't work. All right, maybe one little cup. Aw, oh, Grease loves tea. It's so nice. I, I kind of want to dry him enjoying a nice cup of tea. If I can get my hands on some keb root, <laughs> then we'd be in business. And then if I get my hands on some... Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. I'm back to Kobo, I guess. Okay, so next... Kobo? Good. I've been meaning to check up on them. Again, you say that like we haven't been there in a long time, but really hasn't been that long. I need to clear my mind. Oh, what? Interact with the hollow table. I've already picked a destination. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> if you wanted to have a cutscene, just started when I picked the destination. You're brooding. Again. Well, now you're gonna talk? That easy to read my mind? It's no Jedi trick. I just pay attention. <laughs> On the Shattered Moon, I saw Dagon confront Centauri. He was so consumed by Tantalor that he completely lost his way. But that's not going to happen to you, though. Reminds me of my fight with the Empire these last few years. Let's just say I don't want to end up like him. What makes you think you would? You are very stubborn. But ambition does not drive you. I don't understand why she didn't see the change in him before it was too late. They dreamed together. And suffered together. A shared dream is not so easy to wake from. Is that what troubles you? Losing yourself. If you ever stray from your path, we will guide you back. Hmm. A 
After defeating Ravis, Cal wonders about what code he follows now that the Jedi Order is gone. He worries that he could lose himself to obsession. Marin assures him that sh should he stray from his path, his family will bring him back. The Bedlam Raider Code. The Bedlam Raiders are led by Ravis, a Gendai warrior who imparted upon them his strict warrior's code. Did he? At its core, the code promotes the quest for freedom won through even greater power, and that death is preferable to subjugation. Although, but like, isn't that ironic? Like, you subjugated all these as raiders to serve you. I don't know. Although many of the raiders themselves not adhere to all of the code's principles, it is nevertheless a binding force that keeps Ravis' irregular army unified. Hmm. Well, what's gonna happen to them now that... Ravis is gone. Okay, I have some things to say. <laughs> um, I need to think more about it. I gotta hand it to you, kid. Things are looking better than ever. And you wanted to sit this one out. Oh, well, count on you to prove me wrong, Cal. When we were all ready to fold, you never stopped fighting. And we can't stop now. Yeah, I know, we still got a lot of work ahead of us. But you gotta remember to stop and appreciate how far we've come. Mm. Go do what you gotta do. We'll do... Oh, you are standing there in the shadow, I almost didn't see you. With Ravis dead, the Bedlam Raiders have been wounded. This makes them dangerous. They weren't exactly harmless before. No, they were not. I will look after the outpost. The raiders may strike if they think we are vulnerable. I'll be back as soon as I can. I know you will, and I will be waiting. Hmm. Don't you have a mountain to climb? <laughs> I guess I do. <laughs> oh, man. New characters and conversations. All right, let's go uh, for a little stop in the saloon. This place is looking nice. Look at all these plants. Um, so I'm really happy that we got another cutscene of just Cal and Marin talking. I am a little bit, not confused, but like about this new direction in the story of Cal being worried about losing himself. Cause like we haven't seen any signs of that happening. He's never like acted in anger or like that's not really an angle that's been shown before in the story. So, like, I kind of wonder why they're showing that now. Uh, it seemed like his story was more about, like, losing people and, like, being worried about like, losing his family, losing someone close to him, and which you can understand because the Jedi are not really supposed to form attachments. Like, I thought that was going to be the main story element is, like, Cal is worried about how he's forming attachments to, like, Marin and Grease and Bone and Seer. Um, and how like he's worried about losing them to me. That's kind of the, the more But instead they're going for this like oh, he's worried about like falling to obsession But we really haven't seen any of that so far. So I don't really know why and I have to point out They still haven't addressed the kiss with Marin like they haven't talked about their feelings at all The only talk that happened about it was Cal talking to Bo in the Technodrome and he was kind of like very dismissive of it. He was like, no, I don't, you know, Jedi, they don't form relationships. But whenever Marin approaches him, he's kind of like open. He's not really that closed off to it. Like she holds his hand and like, I don't know. And she hasn't like talked about it at all with him. She hasn't been like, oh, so about that kiss. Like, I don't, know, I don't want to say like I'm not satisfied because I'm loving the game so far, but like, I don't know. I wish they explored it a little bit more. Maybe it feels very slow because I've been doing like side content and like, so it feels like that's not progressing that fast. We're getting quite the green thumb. I don't know. A new specimen, fascinating. Finish planting it and I'll tell you what I know. Okay, so these spots still aren't open. Ooh, we did get a nice little fountain here. How nice. Still don't get the gardening thing. Ooh, 
What's up in here? Oi, Cap! Heard you gave Ravis the sack. You know, you weren't the first to take a swing at that Gendai. Ever hear about Toll? I don't think so. Oh, real poet with a pickaxe. A while back, she comes across this load of priorite, the biggest you ever saw, like a sky full of grinning stars. Of course, then your Ravis shows up, built like a bloody cargo barge, and tells her to get scarce. But Tor, the old nutter, she goes and takes her plasma torch to the Gendai. Did she survive? Poor Tor don't last ten seconds. But I guess sometimes a find like that's worth fighting for, eh? Yeah, well, sometimes the payout isn't worth the price. Uh, maybe, but it's just like the prospectors say. Better a broken pick than a rusted one. Do wish you could have met old Toll. Bit loony, but with real heart. Sounds like it. So, you wish to hear of a time on the grapple with the crew of the Dread Captain Wanyak Wed? Let's hear it. Bye. Sorry, I'm really busy. Excuse me. That's not a lie. That is what I did. Um, no. I told you, Gris lies. How mortifying! He must pay. We should curse him, make him suffer. Marin, you heard him. He won't be able to cook you scas steaks. Nobody asked your opinion, Calcastus. <laughs> See, got any advice on confronting Dagon? Well, in my day, I did watch him spar. Oh, maybe you can teach me some of his tricks. If only it was that easy. I know. Why is it our enemies always seem to be the ones to exploit our failings? Mm. No time to talk. Care to see what I've found? BD looks ready to head out. That's all you have to say? God dang it. I got some new units. I can do some Destro Droids. Nice. Maybe I can try that. Shall we play a game? Let's try the Destro Droids. See how that works. Let the battle begin. Now they do have the shields. Do they never lose their shields? And it's off the board. Ooh, okay, so but they're gonna be pretty weak in melee, I'm guessing. Yes, very good. Hmm. I don't think it's gonna work so well here, but. I think Destro Droid and Chicken is gonna be pretty hard to beat. Oh, but this this guy with the hammer was really strong. Let's hope we can kill this guy with the hammer. Ooh. Okay, we got him. Okay, no, the shields do like weaken over time. Right? Or do we have to shoot it while it's rolling away? That might take a while. Oh, nice. Well done. Your strategy proved super. Okay, I don't think I've gotten this far yet. Oh jeez. Okay, just one? Um, 
I can probably do that. I don't know, let's see. Combat! No mercy from that ATST! Oh, that was actually pretty easy. Totally defeated, skill point acquired. Gambler. You have played perfectly. Oh, I'm kind of sad that we've already beat them all. Hope they come up with some new challenges because this this little game is really fun. Drop by any time you feel up for a game. Well, do we have any new challengers? For a victory lap? No new challengers. Unfortunate. You guys have anything else to say? Keep your eyes out for the Empire. Always do. So much has transpired since we first met. We wouldn't have gotten this far without you, Z. A kidnapping here, a fight to the death there. It's been quite the ride. So it has. But now, the search for Master Centauri's compass nears its end. Please be careful. In my day, Dagengera had no equal on the battlefield. Really? May the Force be with you. No equals, huh? Um, I find it kind of interesting how like they're always having this dialogue like we've been on this grand adventure, like taking us all over the place, but really we've only been on Kobo, and then Kobo's moon, and Jitta. That's it. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's why it feels like we really haven't done that much in the game so far, because it's all it's mostly been like the same locations. It feels like we've barely done anything. Like it doesn't feel like we've been on this big odyssey or anything. Something smells good. That would be Great Grandma Pylun's potato namba patty. How'd she learn to cook so well? <laughs> oh, she had no choice. With eight children, 36 grandchildren, and two lost cats, she was cooking for a small army. 36? I'm glad we can still enjoy her recipes. Me too. Grandma Pylun's cooking lives on. But the lost cats, not so much. All right, finish this thing, will ya? I'm going, I'm going. Why is everyone talking where, like I'm at the end of the game already? I took down the Mogu. It wasn't easy. Well, yeah, well, the Mogu never is. They're relentless, even on the brink of death. Some beasts can be companions for ranch work. A Mogu <laughs> definitely is not. Good doings, Cal. You're a heck of a hunter. Be seeing you. Why is the brood looking for you on Coruscant? Isn't that a real bad neighborhood for you these days? Let's not get into it. Good answer. Anyways, a sharpshooter named Gat Mito has been trying to sniff you out at a meatpacking facility. Brought a couple of lackeys with her, but pick off the alpha and the pack will scatter. We'll keep our eyes on the prize. Good. Hate to see something happen to you. The going's just starting to get good, Cal. Find Gat Mito. Rumor has it that the Gendai is dead. Is that your work, bud? You know it. And if it was? Just curious is all. So, how'd you do it? You slice off his legs? No, they would just grow back, right? Oh, you incinerated him, didn't you? I don't want to talk about it. Ah, I suppose a true professional never reveals their secrets. I must be rubbing off on you. Well, killer, here's another tip. Real pros? You know, they made this point about how like the Gendai, there's like this big mass of tentacles and like even if you slice them, they just grow back, but like we really didn't see any of that happening in the boss fight. Like yeah, we sliced him and like he kept going and like he showed up with some tentacles out of his arm, but then he pretty much fought the same. So like I feel like either we're gonna see him again, like he survived somehow, or it's a big wasted potential because like I thought he was gonna like leave his suit and just be like this little tentacle monster and then like try and escape or like grow his full body back, something like that. But nothing really happened like that. Don't relax too much, Cal. You may have downed a big one. There's a lot of players in the game still want you to get. Hey, Cal, did you hear those vulture droids screaming around the mountain? Not yet. Wait. Don't tell me you're thinking of sampling them. 
thinking? It's already done. Didi and I just got back. Must have been dangerous. Oh, yeah. We almost died like 10 times. But once we layered those samples over some lo fi Trandoshan funk, you gotta hear it to believe it. I would love to hear it. Don't forget to talk to Didi if you wanna switch songs. I won't forget. How could I? Cal, I've been meaning Apologize. to. Apologize? Well, I was a little curt yeah, when you last were. we spoke about how my shipping operation was shut down. Don't worry. I've heard worse. I really did lose everything, you know? And everyone. That's what brought me to Koba with what few wares I had left. Monk lets me keep my things in the back room. Go on. See if anything suits your fancy. Not like anyone here has credits to spend. Anyhow, oh, that's I nice of you. Shouldn't take my troubles out on you. Thanks, Moran. The back room? But this door? Oh. Oh. Been wondering when that door would open. Oh, it was a song. Drail. Old friend of Moran's. A few scattered valuables and a crate of textiles comprised what remains of Moran's criminal career. The bevel of Moran's datapad faintly bears the name Drail. Hmm. So that's all there was? It's just a song? That's not, not much of a valuable, but thank you, I guess. I saw your things in the back room. You'll have to forgive the more tasteless ornaments. Some of it used to belong to Drail, my old partner. Ghastly sense of style. Another outlaw? Not when I met him. He was running a perfectly legitimate port in Rhodia. Allowed me to use his docks for my shipments. No questions asked, supposedly. But we got to talking anyways. Sounds like a nice guy. He was the genuine article, all right. Probably why things didn't work out between us. Oh, this place is starting to fill up, Cal. I guess the word is out. It's looking pretty good. Uh, seeing this place start to get its legs feels like... like the start of something historic. What if, centuries from now, there's a city here? Even Eldera was just a lumber colony once. Doma better start investing in urban planning. True. Thurgo told me he named a road after his foot. What? We'll talk soon. Monk, Here I, go. I could really use a drink. There aren't any Zabrak hanging out in the outpost, right? Not that I've seen. Oh, thank goodness. Thought I was gonna have to book it for a second there. Are there people out to hurt you? Only always. But I owe these Zabrak quite a few credits for a, an incident I was involved in. You get into a lot of trouble, don't you? The less you know, the better. Trust me. Wait, the Zabrak, aren't they from Dathomir? Darkmaul was a Zabrak, right? I can always run, start a new life. No, Turgle, not again. Everyone holding up, okay, Monk? Well, we're just fine now. The Raiders might have put a little spook in some of our clientele when they marched in here, but we're made of sterner stuff. Good to hear. You doing all right? Cal, my boy, I'll tell you the same thing I told those Raiders. What's that? Go ahead and shoot. But know this, you'll be blasting the best bartender on Kobo. You keep okay. your eyes on the path ahead. So what now? What's our main objective? Confront Dagon at Kobo Observatory. Uh, I think the Kobo Observatory is like the place where I've been in the last... I think that's the place where I went in the last episode. Like when we climbed all the way up, I think that's what it is. If not, then I do have a few rumors. 11? Main core. Uh, that's a bounty hunter. Another bounty hunter, another bounty hunter. These damn Republic Chambers, they take a lot of time and like... 
I don't know, I, I don't think I'm going to do much of those in the playthrough. The Garoko Matriarch. Sure, I could try and do that. Uh, so I don't really have time for a full story quest, but we can try and do a few side quests before ending this episode. I need to focus. So up there. All right, that door. Yeah, I should be able to open the door now. All right, let's see. The Goroko Matriarch. Look at this nice little skeleton. This, this is the Matriarch? Doesn't seem that bad. Dropkick. Wow, she really took it personally. Okay, I'm sorry I said you didn't seem that bad. Sorry, Mama. You're done. Ciao. Legendary enemy defeated. In the higher hierarchical Goroko pack structure, the matriarch is above all. Ooh, nice. Well worth the time. Catch. What else we got? Main core. All right, let's go to Boiling Bluff. Remember, there was someone here that we needed to help a long time ago. There you go. There. Now you can get to it. Oh man, that was like at the beginning of the game. A skill point. Let's see if we can find them, or maybe they will find us. First one to spot the other. I think that's him right there. Look at him just walking around. That's a guy walking with a purpose. Nice if I could sneak up on him. Can I sneak up on the guy? your back better, dude. Man, what a pushover. Has built a solid, if relatively unremarkable reputation as a bounty hunter. I will say that was very unremarkable. Gets the job done without any extraneous flair. The unassuming approach has worked for her, as in over 10 years of hunting, not once has a bounty been issued on her in retaliation for her blood-soaked deeds. Quite the shameful display! Action Brood Gunslinger. Alright, well, that was easy. 
Let's find a Raz, which is a bounty hunting droid. He's in the forest array, interesting. Let's just get to the forest array. Hello? Someone looking for me? Hello? Nice move, Jedi. Thanks. Here it comes. This I will. Combo time. Combo time. Hey, you're done, son. What's that, bud? Action brood bounty droid. Heavy built and programmed for it to be over. <laughs> Heavy built and programmed to be overconfident. They will often taunt their enemies even as the blaster bolts fly. Sure. Raz began their career as a bunker buster for a small insurgent cell in Rusan, but when the coffers ran empty, Raz betrayed and collected bounties on several of their companions. Wow. Sork Tormo used this as a leverage to pull Raz into his employ. Hmm. Our next target, Gat Meadow. Oh, he's on Coruscant. So we won't do that now. Check on the Jawa settlement. I'm actually quite curious about that because we did see the Jawas, but. Huh. Let's go to Bygone Settlement. I want to check on these little Jawas. Houdini! Let's make sure they're doing okay. Even though they're little swindlers, but they're not so bad. Oh, should I hear some gunfire? That's not good. Line up. There we go. Oh, there's the little tank thing. Uh, how can I get up there? Who are these people? Those, of course. You want to protect me. What? Ugh. Come on, you can do better than that. I love my job. My job of hurting my friends. Explain now. Explain yourself. Ow. Clever. You guys okay in there? Oh yeah, they're shooting at their little tank. How can I get up there? Help me out. Get the enemy. Just you. Calm down, don't make this a kink thing. I can see a kind of passage up there. Hmm. Hello. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Do you know the way up to their settlement, buddy? Like, there's clearly 
some walls up there, but... I think it's like up there, but there seems to be like wind blowing or something. Can I stop this thing? The Empire's security. Uh, can I like dash through it? Oh, I can, okay. That's all it was. That was easier than I thought. Um, okay, but then what? Through here, maybe? Clearly, I was supposed to come here after getting the dash. That much is obvious. Okay, no funny business. Just put the scrap down and your hands up. This area is under the control of the Bedlam Raiders. Funny folk, ain't ya? This is a lot of pretty interesting tech you have here. Why, if I weren't holding you up, I'd probably be buying. Wow! Ooh, so we are not nice, to some jealous. Always keeping me on the straight and narrow, huh? There's a good droid. Best do as they say. Let's not make this any messier than it needs be. I can't see shit, it's so dark in there. You're not supposed to be here. Where's the Jawas? Oh, they're up there. Hello. I won't hurt you. Can I see them in, like, photo mode? Look at these guys. The shiny eyes. Their eyes are so damn shiny. It's like a light bulb in there. Damn. It's a little creepy. Look at the little creeps. I come in peace. Houdini. Hey. I appreciate it. Oh, no, baby. Ah, oh, there's one. Hello. Are you scared of the lightsaber? Don't be scared. I'm not gonna hurt you. I wonder how long this has been here. I'm gonna try and help your other... Your other friends. Uh, have I been there? Ooh. Some Geonosian legs. They really don't tire themselves of shooting. They've been shooting this whole time. Okay, let's not fall because it's going to be a very long climb back up if we fall.
using them in tandem. Ooh. Almost there. Oh, ah, yes, he's a shortcut. Raiders trying to destroy the camp. Leave those Jawas alone. What the fuck? Did you see that? You work for me oh, now. Yes. Let's see if you can defeat one of your own droids, and you just this did it. It just was. Room is thin, bud. Oh, what the fuck you came from? Get out of here. Alright, you guys are safe now. Our villages can live in one of these crawlers. Traveling across planets as a single unit. They're like, this come over here. Look like it's moved in a while. The Digger Crawler. Enormous crawler vehicles were originally created as mobile mining and smelting factories designed to withstand the harsher conditions of frontier planets. Over time, they became favorites of the Jawa species native to Tatooine. Tatooine, Tatooine, who used their vast space to store their wares as well as house their entire clan. The Jawas who found their way to Kobo built a crawler in the style of the ones they remembered from their home. Oh, it's not even like an original one, they just built that one. That's nice. Hello. Are you all okay? Not sure what that means, but you all look safe. If you need any supplies, you should stop by the Ramblers to reach out. Oh man, next. are we gonna have Jawas in the outpost? See you around. Jawa recruited? Ah, yes. Nice. Jawa seem pleased, huh? Maybe they're happy they have somewhere to do business. Grease is gonna love this. I don't know. Grease feels like the kind of guy who wouldn't like Jawas. Like, these damn Jawas. Sounds like something he'd say. What are you guys hiding back there? Just a bunch of scrap. Just like a bunch of shit. What are you guys looking at? I love that they put Jawas in this. Do I have six skill points? Jeez, I need to spend those. Hey guys. Just admiring the view. I love that you never get to see what they look like. They're like the black mages from Final Fantasy. Okay, well. See you guys. Be safe. Hard on your knees. All right, we have six skill points. Sixth. Uh, canisters refill force meter. Sure. The power of friendship. That's our full resilience tree. Wait, don't I already have that? Oh, 
Oh, you reflect them at multiple targets, I guess. Sure. To lift your targets as well as nearby enemies. Oh, wow. Oh, that could be cool. I forgot to use that in combat. Like, I forgot I have the, the lift thing. I need to use that more in combat. That sounds fun. Alright, let's just go back to the saloon. I want to see Jawas in the bar. Because then it's really... Gonna, like, there's not enough aliens in the bar. Is there going to be one of the big sand crawlers? Oh. Not sure what that activated. Oh, it opened the door. Oh. Ooh, big chest. The swoop blaster, look at this thing. Interesting look. <laughs> Let's show this to Z. Oh, there are the Jawas. I totally agree. I bet Z can get the data off this disc. Hey, guys. Do you mind if I get in here or? Uh, how can I get in there? You guys don't want to let me in? I think I need to do something like on the rooftop. I love the way to talk. They don't look friendly. Ooh. Hello? Who is this? Let's move, BD. Need to slice this. What is this building? Your magic, BD. I'm locked out. What is this place? The hell is this place? What'd you find? Forever curious. These monoliths, I cannot figure them out, which is always compelling. The locals say some ancient treasure is hidden inside, but nobody has been able to crack them. He is much more interested than I am, however, which is becoming something of a concern. Oh, hello. Let's get going, BD1. Who are you? Soon to Madas? <laughs> Who? Oh, Who? God. A stranger in these parts. I'm just looking around. Well, away with ya! Nothing for you here! You have nothing to fear. I have nothing to fear. I'm your ally. I'm an ally against the raiders. You're an ally. An ally against that gang. How does this thing even get, speak? Get. Quickly, you're letting the dust inside. What the hell? Are you alright? You're an ally. An ally against the Raiders, but even allies have secrets, hmm? Much like, to do. His Much mouth doesn't do. even close. What are you planning to do? Busy. Busy. <laughs> no, not now, stranger. Let me be. Let me be. Much on the mind. Strange. The fuck kind of alien is this? That looks horrifying. Oh, God. Ugh. What is it, buddy? Obsession. I will crack them, I will dig in, find their treasures, no matter what, I will get in. No, no, not yet. 
A little secret passage? Oh, what the hell? Is that their friends who died? Another skill point. Brother, don't ignore me! You can't stop me! I won't let you! There's still time! Time to go! To walk away! Oh, you bitch! You killed your own brother? Now that I can't abide. I knew there was something weird about you. How's this guy who's just been hiding here? He killed his own brother. That's messed up. And just like had this hiding in the basement. What the fuck? Sunt Madas. A local prospector and technologist who has become an increasingly hostile and self-isolated obsessive. Death in the family. A pair of inventor prospectors brothers disagree over where their priorities should lie on Kobo. One in a flash of obsession strikes out and in so doing fatally wounds his kin. Okay, well that's uh That's pretty upsetting. I wish I never came through here. So lots of old secrets still, even in the in the town. Get some Kobo matter all over this place. Could I like reach those? Oh, you could. I could get up there. Huh. I can actually. To go where? Challenge. Get this data disk back to Z. There's something here. Fractured delusion. Defeat all enemies with any weapon. Sure. Okay. Oh, it's this guy again. more can I like to let this guy nah. it's a block here yeah it only depletes their guard meter a little bit These big ones. Yeah, I could get this guy to fight from my side now. You guys fight him. Now! Get back here! After the enemy! Move 
I'm just gonna back up when I do this. There's no blocking it. time to react to the stomp, like, you don't have time to jump or dodge, it just comes out, like, instantly. Alright, we managed. It's gone now. We did it. We did it. Uh, there was something, in, like, on the rooftop over here. Thing. I think there's an item in there, I just don't know. I just don't know how to get in there. They won't let me open the door. Alright, that's fine. Keep your secrets. Uh, I just want to go collect my bounties and then we'll stop. You ever get frustrated using that new arm? Are you kidding? I love this thing. I can chop vegetables twice as fast and I can't burn myself. Plus, it's great for self-defense. Did you put a taser in there? You've been getting into fights? Well, no, but you know, I could. If someone tried anything, you know, I'm ready. Okay, well, that's good to uh, know. What do you know? Makes me wonder why you don't just get like four mechanical arms or two, three. Always something to do, huh? You know, if you like it, you could get some more. You got the stuff. I got the goods. Ooh, someone's interested. Well, now that you said that, I don't really want to buy anything. Stuns one target. That could be nice. I'm gonna go with this one. Good luck with it. Try not to die. Stun shot. All right, tell me about some more uh, bounties. Can you not? Can you not? Okay, well. Never mind. Here we are back in familiar territory. So, pretty productive episode. We defeated Ravis, although I'm still not convinced that he's not gonna come back somehow. Like, I find it kind of weird that the corpse just disappeared instantly. I don't know. If he shows up again, I'm not gonna be surprised. Some interesting development with Cal's, like, mental state. Curious to see where that goes. Losing himself to obsession. Like, he doesn't seem that obsessed. Honestly, he's just very mission-driven, so... Still very much enjoying the game. Uh, not a lot of people watching this series, but that's fine with me. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I had fun playing this. I hope you had fun watching it. I hope you get me in the next episode for some more Jedi Survivor. May the Force be with you.